My my partner is a vampire and how to come out from under the spell. Uh, hi, Will Perry here. <laughs> Welcome to another Keeping the Conversation Alive. I hope you're well. So my partner is a vampire. What's this? Uh, you might have heard the analogy uh, uh, that I've used about uh, emotional abuse and um, controlling partners, though most of the time we don't realise it. But of course, using the analogy of uh, vampires, um, victims of vampires don't realise they're vampires. They come under the spell of the vampire. That's the whole point of the vampires, how they can suck your blood, use you um, uh, as sustenance and food for them to be their victim. Uh, you don't realise that. Oh, yeah, I'll be a victim of a vampire. Go on, have a bite. Yeah, they, they seduce you, do they not? Anyway, um, in social settings, that's a good way to notice it. In social settings, are you walking on eggshells because of your partner? It's like, oh, yeah, we've got to go, we've got to go. Right, okay, we've got to go. Sorry, we've got to go. You know, or it's like, oh, yeah, no, 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 let me do Are you attending to their every need? Are you uh, ready to jump when they say jump? Are you, you know, on tenterhooks because of how they might be? You know, are you relaxed being you or are you kind of on high alert? That's an interesting thing, high alert. And that might be normal because if you were brought up, brought, brought up in an environment where you learned to walk on eggshells, it's perfectly normal for you to walk on eggshells through life. You know, you're walking on eggshells through life. Um, and, you know, another example is I hear uh, a lot, you know, the social interaction could be difficult, um, but the getting ready for the social interaction could be difficult. You know, getting getting ready is a nightmare. Uh, uh, there's drama at home. There's drama because this is, or they can't find this or they can't do this or... They don't feel like it or they don't want to do this or there's some drama going on. Can you relate to that? Some drama about that or telling you what you should or shouldn't do or being critical of how you look or what you're doing or, you know, to bring up something from the past to make you feel bad or down or, you know, putting you down in some way or, or off. Uh, what's the, um, putting you off in some way, uh, wrong footing you. So it's like, you know, like what? And then, right, come on, <laughs> let's go, I'm ready. Um, perfectly normal. So um, that can be like wrong footing you. It's such a clever thing to do. Uh, well, it's not nice, but it's, <laughs> it's it's so effective in terms of the impact it's had, that it has and it's in, intended to have. Um, so do they control you when you're actually there? Are you having to keep an eye on them or are you sitting, sticking by them because they've told you to stick by them? They feel lonely. They feel, you know, they feel insecure when they, they don't look insecure and they don't, you know, um, and, you know, people in control who, who control or because it's not easy to spot in others because we all put a smile on the, on, on our faces, you know, do we not? Um, so people who control or abuse, because of course abuse is, emotional abuse is behind closed doors, it's not in front of everyone, um, look amazing to, uh, you know, look happy. So maybe you look like a happy couple. You know, I, I can uh, reflect back on my life where I thought, you know, power couple or amazing, got everything. And it's like, mm, it's not, oh, oh, it's not that what you see isn't what you get you know you know it's it's because we don't show that stuff you know it's all behind closed doors and and what you show is that you're you know attentive and happy and and, and maybe your partner controlling one is very attentive to you so everybody goes no that nice oh oh you're so good together you you know you're so wonderful you're so happy you know oh he's a good one or she's a Oh, she's a stunner. She is, oh, isn't she amazing? Isn't she? You know, it, because it goes both ways. This is not gender specific. This at all, um, because you can get female, female and male vampires. Can you not? Mm -hmm. oh. uh, so um, you know, you can never tell. But when you know, you know, and when you can see that uh, extrovert, and not all, you know, uh, well, I'd say maybe they're extrovert. Um, the the extrovert nature of because you're extrovert doesn't mean you're a vampire. Um, you know, the bravado of look at me or look at me how good I am at looking after people or look at me how clever I am or look at me how funny I am or look at me how attentive I am to my partner or look at me, for, you know, do you get the picture? That the the um, abuser will be very much about uh, p positional dominance in terms of uh, uh their, their position in society. You know, they are you know, the best and the the cleverest, the funniest, the kindest, the most wealthy, the you know, um, and and uh, you know, can you see somebody being controlled by this extroverted, uh, dominant person, controlling person? Uh, it's a very weird thing. Once you can see it going on, it's like ooh, 
horrid, you know, why do they let themselves do it? But if you know, you also know why they uh, they get caught up in that. And it's a real double-edged sword um, for the victim. It could be a really double-edged sword because, you know, A, you're on edge, you're walking on, you know, in tenterhooks, you're walking on eggshells. Um, can be a relief, you know, because going out, it can be, yeah, they're actually looking after you. They're actually, and that's what you want. The, you know, they actually, you actually want it to be harmonious and lovely and the, the power couple or the whatever it is. You know, you actually aspire to that. You want that. You wish it was like that behind closed doors, but it isn't. So it's double edged because it's like, oh, yeah, you're nice, you're, you're nice now. But, you know, leading up to this, you were an ass. You were cutting and horrible. You were wrong footed me. You were, you know, drama. Can we not have the drama? You know, you don't say this to them, <laughs> but you think to yourself, you know, um, and it can be a real love hate thing because, you know, you, you want that stuff, but you want it to be easy and to happen nicely and to f- flow naturally rather than to be, you know, on, on eggshells and tenterhooks hooks and, and, and you can frustrate yourself for why do you put up with it? Why do you, you know, everybody thinks this person's so lovely, your partner so lovely. It's like, he's not, she's not, you know, it's like, you don't know the half of it, but you don't say anything. You just smile. And, oh yes. They are. It's a really difficult situation because of course at the, at the base of it, there's something you think about yourself, um, which makes it happen, which attracts it to you. So you're perpetuating this thing, but you don't realise you don't know how to get out of it. It's a, a double bind or a vicious circle. If you see my point, there it is. Um, so you need to learn to stand in your power. But, you know, I think oh, I'll use the phrase that I used earlier on in, in the week, the, um, the path- pathetic versus strong. Again, the client's um, language not mine um so you know you need to learn to stand in your power to be strong uh, and not to be uh not to give away your power or to be using their words pathetic <laughs> so but it's not because it's not a judgment it's not pathetic you don't know it's not your fault it's just once you know this stuff and then you learn how to do this stuff actually they won't want to be around you because they want powerless people they want pathetic people as victims you know that's why the oh, I was just thinking that's why the uh, the victim uh, the um, uh, vampire never uses you know never befriends a oh no uh, the, anyway you wouldn't get a female victim with a, a a man of the cloth would you no a female vampire with a man of the cloth because you know they're too powerful for them you know they want victims they want victims to seduce and control and dominate and feed off so um you know and that takes work to stand in your power to be strong that takes work you know and and seeing certain set set of sequences to go through a set of sequences and to understand this stuff um yeah and and the output of that is that your you know your partner um or or the person that you know was your partner if you've separated they won't like it, you know, and they might get very judgmental about you and nasty, but guess what? They were before anyway, so nothing's changing. And guess what? Once you're standing in your power, you don't give a, a flying cahoot what they think anyway, because you know it's meaningless and it's, you know, it's everybody's going to think something different anyway. And if they influence people, they influence people negatively about it. It doesn't matter. It's not real. It doesn't matter. Uh, so, uh, you know, you will get that perspective, the benefit of that perspective and everything it brings for you and your family, um, uh, except that abusive person. Um, you'll get the benefit of that once you stand in your power and stand strong. But it takes that work, that shift, that mental shift to be able to do it, you know. Uh, so my invitation to you is to, to take the test um, if you haven't already. And, and again, this is just an indicator, you know, like a bit of a... Uh, you know, a, a really quick indicator as to what you're thinking, your negative emotions, are they, are they like really bad and need work? You know, you need to work on this because this is what's, you know, the core of your problem. This is what's swerving you into this negative thinking all the time that's sabotaging yourself. Or, or are you, you know, cool, in which case this isn't for you, you know. Um, ask me questions about this. If you've got, if this rings some little ding, 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 bells, red flags, that's another one, yeah, red flags popping up, then, you know, ask me some questions on this stuff. Get involved in the conversation, you know, I will respond to you. Um, I'll, I'll do it as quickly as I can, but I will respond to you. No, so notice where you're questioning yourself on this. Where are you noticing it's like, ooh, that's a bit uncomfortable, <laughs> you know, oh God, I do that, oh God, he does that, oh God, she does that, oh God. Is it, you know, is this me? Is this, no, it can't be. Uh, because we think we're, you know, things are better than they are often. So if you've seen that video. So, um, yeah, uh, get in co- contact, you know, keep the conversation going in your head because we get too comfortable when we put this stuff to bed. 
and uh, we sleep on it, you know, but then we don't wake up and go, now, where am I with that one? We go, oh, avoid it. What, what do I need to do to busy myself today? Does that make sense? So um, many thanks. Hope you're well. I hope this is interesting. Do, you know, share this stuff with other people that you might find interested, uh, that might you think might be interested in this. That's the one. All right, many th thanks. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.